guys welcome back to the butterbean shop this is Megan here and I am going to make another cold process soap today we're gonna make Satsuma um here we go this smells amazing now I always keep it in stock however I am sold out and I need to make another batch so that's what I'm doing now I'm gonna change up the um, design of it a little bit Instead of using a standard mold, I'm going to use a tall skinny mold and I'm omitting some of the colors because I don't really want to clean all those dishes. So um, I'll go ahead and get started. And here we have our oils and we also have um, our additives, which are um, powdered goat milk and white kale and clay. I'll go ahead and... Um, Get that started oh you know what i totally forgot about the coconut milk that i have here i had to warm it up just a little bit because i didn't want to put it ice cold in the um, batter so i'll go ahead and mix this up to get everything incorporated Okay, so now that that's mixed up, I'll go ahead and add the um, lye solution, which is aloe, tessa silk, and sodium lactate. I'll blend this up just a little bit. And I'll go ahead and add the coconut milk in now. So we'll just blend this up to emulsification. Um, I'm not going to bring it to trace. Okay, so that looks good. Now um, for the colors, the base is going to be this um, kind of yellowish, um, orangey color. I mixed lemon drop um, mica with um, electric orange mica. And I got this beautiful kind of burnt yellow color. So I'm gonna put that in there. Those are both from um, Nurture Soap. For an accent color, we are going to use Clementine Pop Mica. This is from Rustic Essentials. And then um, for the another accent color, we're going to use uh, Hollywood Pink. This is from um, Nurture. Okay, so I'll go ahead and split this off. Okay. So, and I have these little beakers because I don't want a ton of color in here just a, li a little bit so we'll go ahead and fill this to about 400 maybe a little bit over and the same here okay there we go so uh, maybe I'll just add a little bit more. Add a little bit more to 500 mLs for each. Okay. All right, that looks good to me. And in this one, we will go ahead and dump in this beautiful yellow color. And then I will add the orange in here. And 
And then I will add the pink in here. All right. So I will also put in the fragrance oil. Now, the fragrance oil that I used to use for this soap was from um, Nurture, but um, they were sold out. So then I went to um, Nature's Garden and I purchased it and I have never used it from Nature's Garden before, so I don't know how it behaves, but we will find out together, won't we? So I'll go ahead and dump this in. More in there, just a little in there. Just a little in there. Okay. So, I'll get this mixed in. And then I'll buzz it up a little bit. I think I should have used a bigger beaker. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to buzz these up. I think I'm just going to have to stir it in. able to buzz them because they are super full. But I'll just make sure I stir them in very well. Too much. I think it's these are too full to buzz. Give this one a little buzz.
guys welcome back to the butter bean shop Megan here and I'm here to cut Satsuma it's a soap that I made yesterday and I absolutely love this fragrance I hope I love what's inside of the soap so I um, changed the design around from the last time this is a restock and the last time I did not use tall and skinny I just used a standard mold a standard sized um, loaf this time I used tall and skinny and I also changed the colors around so we'll see which one I like better I'll go ahead and cut the end piece off here it's still very sticky the soap is so you know we'll see how it goes because it is still very sticky okay so maybe I didn't add enough sodium lactate here okay let's see oh it's like subtle some subtle um some this the orange is very subtle I think I should have made it darker I should have made the orange darker, I think. But that's okay. Here we go. That's okay. It's still a good um, swirl. I like it. I like the swirl so far. So far, it looks good. 